Hey, what's going on everyone? Shiva Sapkata here with another Tesla video. Today we're taking a look at a high voltage extension cable to charge your Tesla. Now if you're wondering why do I even need that? Well, if you have a charger like this outside and it can reach wherever you need to go, then you don't have a problem. But oftentimes what I find is when I go to people's houses, relatives' houses, they have a charging station, they have a Tesla, but it is inside their garage. So I would have to have them move their car out of the garage, park inside the garage, and it just becomes a weird mesh there. And also, you know, people probably don't want to remove their car from the garage and let my car in. So, this is what that fixes the solution. So right here is a wire that is coming out of my garage because I have another charging station installed inside the garage. If it is outside like this, then there is no issues as I said. So what I can do now is use this extension cable to reach my car out way outside of the garage, even in the driveway, by just using this extension. It adds about 16 foot of additional length on your Tesla's charger, and this charges high capacity. So you got the full 240 volt, it can even go all the way to 80 amp. So realistically, you only need 48 amp max, depending on what type of charger you got. So that's what I wanna show you here today. This is from Tesla Studio, and also talk about their huge Black Friday sale that is going on right now. This product was sent to us free of charge by Tesla Studio, they have a mega sell going on right now up to 60% off on some of the products and our code actually gives you more than what their website code even gives you. So this is what I wanna show you here today. Uh, they have a lot of products that we have reviewed in the past. They're uh, the sunroof for the motorized sunroof, their front end trunk, they have swivel, they have all kinds of products if you wanted to check it out. And this is the product that we are reviewing here today. As you can see, this is the extension. They give you all the spec and everything. They say that this could go all the way to 80 amp if needed. And then you can go to 48 amp one uh, up to 16.4 feet. So you can go from there. This is five meter. And then if you hit this to add to cart, I'm gonna show you how you can save some money. So when you go to check out here, their biggest code right now is giving you $92 off. So bringing the total from 258 to 165. But if you go here and then if you put Shiva Tesla, so our code, that savings goes up to $98. So bringing the total to $159.96, saving you a little bit more money than their own code here. This affiliate code, we earn a very small commission and no additional cost to you, which greatly helps us bring videos like this in the future. Thank you very much, let's continue. Now how this works is super straightforward. You got your Tesla charger, however long that you can get to. Then you bring this new charging connector, this extension cable from Test Studio. And what you do is you basically plug this in. As you see, this is a NAC connector. So you just plug this in. Now, this is your full extension. Now you can take this other lid and go plug it into your Tesla. Now we have the extension set up and everything. This is the male end of the connector. We're just gonna come to our Tesla and plug it in and it started blinking and it started charging. The wall connector kicked in and now we got a green flashing right here and this is fully charging. So that's how simple it is. You just have the male to female and then you add about 16 foot just using this. As you can see, this is charging and this is all coming out of the extension that we created with this new plug coming from my wall connector there. And you can use the mobile connector for this as well. So you are able to just charge this. Now, if we look at the screen inside, you can see that we are getting the full 40 amp that we had set up as. So that charger is set up to give us 40 amp and we're getting that full 40 amp right there. It is fast charging. So. That's how you can extend the full capacity of your charger all the way to 16 more foot. Again, the convenience with this is huge. As you can see, my wall connector would have only reached that location there, but now with this extension, I'm able to charge my Tesla from all the way down here because that extends it by another 16 foot or so. So a little bit longer than my Model Y here. That's how much extension that you get just using this setup. Now, when you are done, this is one annoying thing about this whole setup. This is great, but it's just there's the inconvenience is if you press this one here, the button here, this is going to stop charging, but the charge port is not gonna be unlocked. So if I press here, as you see the, the charging is stopped, but I try to pull it and then it turns red and then if I just let it sit there for a little bit, it starts charging again. And that is because Tesla has made a handshake with this charger, the connector, the original connector that is coming from the wall charger. So this is the one that is basically Tesla has made a communication with this port, not with this. So 
for Tesla, we need to, to unlock the Tesla, we need to use this one. So that's the one annoying thing is you gotta first press on the, the original connector and then come over here and be able to mess with the, the actual uh, plug. So if we were to instead then press on this one, as you see, it unlocks it, so we are able to remove it. But if we didn't press on this one, with just with this one, it stops the charge, but it won't let you pull this one out. So that's one annoying thing about this setup. But again, the, the benefit is huge. Uh, you just have to have that annoyance there. Now, another thing that you could do is you could stop the charge and unlock the port directly from your app or Tesla. Then you don't have to go find this original connector at all. That could be somewhere else, and it still works with this one. So their website lists this as an IP55 connection. After this has been connected here, it is a pretty good seal. And then to open this, you would have to just slide this uh, here, and then you are able to unlock this from your original charger to this extension. As you can see, it accumulated quite a bit of cable here because it gives you that additional 16 plus foot of uh, additional here. And then this is a NAC connector. So what do you all think about this extension cable for your Tesla? Would you get it? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, your likes, your dislikes. Only the annoying thing about this is that you gotta press on the original Tesla's connector to unlock the charge port. That's the only thing. You could still stop it using this button here, but being able to unlock and remove the charge port, it's just, you need that original one. But the work around that is if you just want to use your app or the Tesla, you could unlock the charge port and then you are able to just easily remove it as well. So there is ways around it. I just wish that this button would work, but there is no way around that. Uh, just because Tesla just set it up that way, you have to use the original point of the connector for that. Other than that, this is, as I say, extremely useful. I run into this issue quite a bit when I go to people's houses, when I'm on a road trip, especially with the destination chargers. This does not work on superchargers, so don't even try that. But with destination chargers, this works so that you are able to extend it. In hotels and places, sometimes the charger is in a weird location, so I don't have to back into it. I can just leave it front facing and be able to use it. So the benefits are humongous, at least for me, but I'm interested in knowing your feedback. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and come back again soon.